Hey you, my name is Thomas Tom Scott Ridgewell, and this might come as a surprise to some of you, but I like guns. I do. Surprise. Dark Squish. A lot of people ask me questions about my arsenal, what my guns are, where I got them, how I got them. So today I thought I would talk about and introduce you to my guns, which sounds like a threat, but it's not. Or is it? It's not. Or is it? Some of the guns behind me are toys or replicas or decommissioned, but most of them are BB or airsoft guns which propel little plastic pellets using springs or electricity or gas, and you can acquire those by getting a United Kingdom Airsoft Retail Association license, which you get by playing airsoft games. Or if you don't want to get a license, then you have to buy brightly coloured versions of the same guns. I get most of my guns though because I have a filmmaker's license which says, hey, I'm a filmmaker, I would like to use these as props. Cool? Cool. Okay, let's go meet the gang. And to the people wondering where I got the grid wall that's holding them up, I'll include a link to where I bought that in the description. To the sofa! Hello! So let's kick things off with a couple of my earliest BB guns, which I picked up on holiday many, many years ago. My very, very plasticky spring-powered Colt 1911 and HK USP. These guys featured in some of my earliest videos and are just... Very broken now. Down the ground! To compare those two, let's take a look at my nice and shiny gas blowback versions of the same guns, which I bought back online in 2010 and have featured in a whole lot of my videos ever since. I'm actually robbing this place! If I shoot him, we can make out! I bought this one because it could take a silencer, but it just wound up being very, very wonky. I picked up this decommissioned shotgun at a comic convention and promptly sawed it off because cowboys and bank robberies. These are Glock 1911s, and I like them a lot. Mm. I think you're getting away with this, huh? Ah. This M249 was sent to my PO box by one of you, and it's actually kind of amazing that the police weren't waiting for me when I went to pick it up. Aliens! Here's a Beretta M9. It's full of mud, and the trigger is broken because I am a responsible gun owner. I commissioned this minigun for a live-action cat attack trailer, which... Never got made, but don't worry, we found a use for it eventually. I, away? I bought this gun on holiday. It doesn't do anything, so we have to use VFX to make it fire. I bought this replica repeater after playing far too much Red Dead Redemption, and it makes me feel things. Oh. I also bought this mini 12 gauge pump action shotgun on holiday. It's very small. These are electric MP5s. And here's an MP5K. Ow. Shoot all your problems away. I got these Colt single action army revolvers to feel more like a cowboy, and one day I will do something with these guns. Here are some repainted Nerf guns which I commissioned for a sponsored video which was cancelled midway through shooting. Fantastic. Mac 11s are fun, except for when the magazines don't fit. Ugh. Shoot your away. This decommissioned AK 47 is from Russia, and I try not to think about it. Here's a boomerang from Australia. Kangaroo! Here's a solid plastic taser prop, which cost way too much money. This gun... This gun doesn't do anything. Get a job. This decommissioned AK-47 is apparently from North Korea, and I really try not to think about that one. I also bought this rocket launcher for the cat attack trailer, which again, never got made. I bought a bunch of these G36Cs for a sponsor video. I really love my job. I killed myself with this shotgun. I bought these guns off a friend! I got this baseball bat on holiday many, many years ago. It used to say Arsenal, but I rubbed off the null so it just said Arse. <laughs> I broke the handle smashing a TV screen. These brightly colored BB guns were sent to us by a Scottish person. Break in and rob her, okay? Ah, my trusty M4. So sleek. But now is not the time! <laughs> Fuck vampires! I don't really know why I bought this. Ow. These AK-47s are garbage! Colt Python 357. I broke it while trying to be cool. Oh. Your gun gets jammed. Candy cane laser gun, because fuck you, that's why. Here's a portal gun that one of you lovely peoples kindly gave me at a convention, but Jack Howard broke it! I stole this from my granddad in preparation for the inevitable zombie apocalypse. A cosplayer gave us a crossbow, and I don't... I don't, I don't really know why. Hello, 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 what's going on here then? <laughs> and finally, my Barrett 50 Cal. I got this for a short film, but it was just too big and too heavy to get on set. But we found a use for it eventually, though. 
This video has probably ruined my hopes of ever getting a real, actual job. Or flying ever again. Tom Scott, out. What are all these dead bodies doing here? Honestly, not much. I'm calling the police. Uh, uh, ham. Hmm? Imagining the things I would do differently, I mean I straight up obsess over the idea of my mind being transported back in time and into the body of my younger self. Because it's important to have a hobby.